cover. And I tell them the same thing. A lot of time and energy goes into the selection process. Middletown North, Middletown North. Don't count on it. We don't just randomly pick any game. Ready, aim, fire. Uh, close enough. Piscataway. Fans are always calling. Hey, cover our team. Sports, this is George. Coach Tall, you want to be game of the week? Again? Can you give us a week off, sir, please? And when it all comes together on a Friday night? <sighs> Look, I don't care what the chopper says. Bright lights, guys hitting each other, pick a game. It's a beautiful thing. Red Bank Regional Cheerleaders, welcome to the MSG Varsity Friday Night Football, everyone. I am your host, Brian DeNovellis. It's only week three, but already Raritan and Matawan, third quarter. Raritan deep in their own territory. The snap goes up, quarterback can't hold it, and it's soaring and it's recovered in the end zone by Matawan. The Huskies are beginning to turn it on. They're up 23-7 at that point. Raritan gets the ball back, wide receiver Bennett Jackson. Look at that, a Leonard leap. Didn't get there. This week we meet the player Chris Melvin of EliteRecruits.com calls the number one recruit in the state. Here's George Falkowski from the end zone. On any given school day at Patterson Catholic High School, you wouldn't say Trevor Clemmings blends in. Not at six foot six. But where he really stands out isn't necessarily in the classroom, but on the football field as New Jersey's number one college recruit. <laughs> Just gotta slow it down. To, uh, take it one day at a time. You know what I'm saying? Um, so last year of high school, what can I say? Uh, about to move on to college, but you know, just here having fun with my guys and um, I just try to take it slow, one day at a time. Have fun, play football, and uh, win this championship at the end of the year. The young man they call TJ is that seemingly perfect combination of size, speed, and strength, who impresses everyone he meets, whether on the field or off. He's just really a, a gentleman. I mean, you're talking about a scholar, a very good student. You're talking about a, a kid who's uh, in the gospel choir. He really, this is a good kid. I mean, a pastor's son, you know, so that kind of tells you he, he really lives that life. You know? TJ is really a fine young man. He exemplifies what we want in a student athlete at Patterson Catholic, uh, involved in Christian service. He is uh, just as, as fine a student as I've worked with in uh, 39 years in education. Yes, but it's what you see on the football field that has college recruiters lining up for his services. And you got to realize this is a kid who uh, is only going into his second, well, actually just started his second year playing organized football. Uh, he was a basketball star up until uh, his junior year when he went out for football and uh, things started to uh, elevate as far as his status as being a, a, a nice, uh, a gifted football player. Are you still dealing with the phone calls and the letters and the texts and the e emails? and just, it, it, is, is, is that still going on or you have, you have a bubble around you where you can just focus on school and football? Uh, phone calls, they come in early in the morning and late at night, but you know, uh, I, I, just, I just deal with it. It's not too many emails, a lot of phone calls, not because I go to coach call once a week, but um, it's not so bad. You got a kid with 30 offers. Um, he's down closest uh, final three being uh, Ohio State, Pitt, and, um, and Florida. But uh, I tell you what, he, he's a kid with 30 plus offers and a lot of schools are still trying to get his attention. I, I'm not even sure yet. I'm just going to let the season finish out because I want to focus on the season, you know. I enjoy this time with my guys and everything and just uh, have fun. What a big man on campus right there. To the scoreboard, Hillside knocks off. 